If you're looking for a wireless charger for your iPhone that utilizes its MagSafe capabilities, but isn't Apple's own MagSafe charger and has one extra useful feature, then let me show you the Halo Luck Kickstand Wireless Charger from ESR. Hey, it's Andre, and today I'll be looking at the Halo Luck Kickstand Wireless Charger from ESR. And now, before you say it, you're probably asking yourself, what more could I want from a charger other than being able to conveniently charge my iPhone quickly and effortlessly? If you're not using a MagSafe charger like this one, or a MagSafe compatible one like this one, then you don't know what you're missing. Being able to align the magnets on the back of your phone just to ensure that connection every time. Pop a message in the comments below if you've ever put your phone on a wireless charging pad thinking it was charging, only for you to come back later on and realizing it wasn't because you didn't put it in the right position. Well, that's a thing of the past with MagSafe chargers like these two. Everything you can do with this MagSafe charger, you can do on this Halo Lock kickstand charger, including getting that snap connection. Obviously not called MagSafe because that's Apple thing, but ESR's version of what essentially is the same thing, magnets on magnets, is Halo Lock. I've tried and tested a lot of Halo Lock products before and that magnetic attraction between product and phone is as good, if not a bit better with some accessories and Apple's own MagSafe charger. Now make sure you go and check out those videos after this one. Currently cheaper than the MagSafe charger, this Halo Lock charger comes with a useful detachable 1.5 meter USB-C to USB-C cable. Compared to the one meter undetached detachable USB-C cable with the MagSafe charger. So if you're in an ecosystem with predominantly USB-C compatible items, then you're going to be able to continue that one cable life. Build-wise, you're getting a product very comparable to the MagSafe charger with its glossy acrylic top and aluminium body. The MagSafe charger is smaller in every dimension, but that dangling wire really puts me off, making me feel like the Halo Lock charger should be considered more portable than the MagSafe charger. Neither charger comes with an adapter in the box, as you would expect these days, and both recommend a reasonably high wattage adapter to utilize the fast charging capabilities, like this 20 watt power adapter from Apple. But there are some cheaper adapters and some with more higher wattages. This charger is rated at being able to charge your phone with the appropriate adapter from 0 to 100% in two and a half hours. But with the battery on the iPhone 13 Pro being so good, I only find myself charging this at night. And thanks to that optimized battery charging, which ensures a quick cycle charge up to 80%, and then from 80 to 100, slow charging to install when you need your phone regularly at the same time in the morning, it'll be at 100%. While I find that most wireless chargers heat up and can be quite hot to touch, the Halo Lock charger isn't prone to that. But thanks to some slightly better heat management, it doesn't heat up as much as the MagSafe charger. Both are compatible with the old standard wireless charging, so if you have another non-MagSafe compatible phone, such as an older iPhone, or another brand that can wirelessly charge, or even another product that can wirelessly charge, like these AirPods, then the Halo Lock charger will also charge these. Where this charger stands out, can you see what I did there, is its kickstand. Not only can you charge your phone, but you can prop it up in landscape orientation at various angles, depending on your preference, thanks to that firm, springy, and ridgy hinge mechanism, which provides stability almost all all the way up until it's closed. You can also use it with your phone in portrait mode, but you're not gonna be able to reach the various angles that you can get while in landscape. This means that you'll be able to charge your phone easily while also standing up to watch a video on your bedside table, play games, and even enjoy video calls with friends and family, or without having to use the MagSafe charger and another accessory, all built into one. And because you can detach the cable from the charger, means that you're gonna be able to use it as a portable stand without the distraction of that wire hanging out at the bottom like the MagSafe charger. For those wanting a little bit of variation, in addition to the white charger, it also comes in black, pastel pink, and Sierra blue to match the iPhone shade. But I do prefer this white one. I think Apple being Apple has got me used to white accessories being the norm. So any other color just doesn't fit my aesthetic. Now I've got to say, the only thing I do prefer about the MagSafe charger compared to this is that when you do attach it to your phone, you get that MagSafe charging icon show up on the phone, as opposed to the standard connected and charging icon. But that is it. I've so far not used or tested a bad ESR product. Every product is able to do what it needs and do it very well. And with certain products, do that extra little bit that makes it better than others, all while being tailored at that budget market. So if you're looking for something more than a charger, like being able to stand your phone up and not having to use an additional product, then the Halo Lock Kickstand Charger could be the one for you. I'll put links to this and my other videos on the Halo Lock products from ESR in the description below. 
Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to press the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. And also press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.